Hey guys, we're back at it again in the garage here, Hot Rod Reverend, and uh, we've got a little problem with the car. Um, you can tell right here the glass is cracked, and um, not quite sure what the issue is there. <clears throat> uh, my whiskers are otherwise new, and um, so is the channel run, and there wasn't anything loose in there. So anyway, we've got to take it apart and um, get that glass out of there, have a new one cut, reinstall. So let's get to it. Well, what you need for this, um, use some lights here, whatever you got uh, to put in the door while you're kind of working. See the channel runs, rollers, everything. Um, large Phillips, what is that, number three? Uh, number two, uh, some picks that will help you out just to get at the uh, clips and just different things maybe line up holes five sixteenths um use quarter inch drive ratchet if you need to but that's for the adjustment the division bar um something to get the clips uh off the door panel all that kind of thing and then uh, the clips behind the the uh door handle window crank, all of that, but uh, try to use plastic if you can, it keeps you from marring surface and some white lithium grease for the rollers. This should go without saying, but uh, when you open up the door and we'll be having the door open for quite some time, uh, I would suggest that you um, unhook the battery just for your dome light sake and that lens, that bulb can get pretty hot and melt your plastic. So let's disconnect the battery. All right, there's just two screws for your armrest. I'm gonna pull those out. See how those two screws are right there? Kind of simplistic. All right, next tool you'll need is one of these. And uh, there's a clip on the back of each handle that um, holds it to the pin uh, for the door handle mechanism and also for the window roller. So usually some variation of this type of tool just to get behind and operate that clip. And uh, usually the way this goes the way the clips are is you come in from the back side. Well, you can see that chrome right there. I don't know if you can see that in the video. I have to show it to you here in a minute. And yes, these things are quite frustrating. All right, so you can see that clip right there um, in the back. It kind of just holds that on there. You've got to push that clip back out. And again, most of these clips, you can see the way that it's made. Um, this tool here kind of pushes in and pushes that clip around. So most of the time it's best to come in from this angle. This right here, just a little bit, you can tell it's just right there but it kind of pushes that clip back out. Now, what I was talking about the chrome here, um, this side's fine. This is the downside. This side right here, you can tell it's already pitting. So, cheap stuff. Did you hear that pin snap? All right, so just to show you, obviously there are the spines and then that clip, that pin just kind of rests in that groove to the left of my finger there on both of these. And um, I got this one off pretty easily, but the pin snapped for some reason, so and it launched. So now I gotta find it. Hey, uh, you may be wondering if you saw uh, me pop these off, um, where is the it's called a scooching, I guess, and a um, little kind of plastic washer and spring. Um, that was on the or original door handles and the window crank and everything. 
I didn't put mine back on because my um, door panel is so thick with the insulation I have in it. It keeps a pretty good spring or compression up against the other end. And then also the vinyl I've got in there. I don't have to be so concerned about um, ripping fabric. The original ones were obviously fabric and that's why these plastic jobs really helped out. So keep that in mind if you take that apart. Don't know how this happened, but I took it off here, of course. Okay, look at the car here, everything else. This pin or this clip is laying right here. <laughs> wow. Put the clip back in for now, but uh, we'll take it back out um, when we get to testing the new glass. All right, next we'll take off the um, door lock, okay? Then we're gonna go around and take off all the screws for the garnish, and um, you're gonna to have to go all the way around here. Um, there is this screw here, not for the garnish, but for the vent window. And then of course over here, kind of weld around, this should just pull right off. So we'll go ahead and take all these screws out and then I'll, I'll record the rest of it. One thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take note of the length of these screws. You can see there's not a lot a room in there. Once the sucker pops out, we'll pull it out right here and show you. But we've um, already got one down here. And see, this one's a little shorter than the two I removed at the bottom. So you want to keep track of uh, what the length is here. Most of these should be the same all the way around, but just double check to be sure. Now this last one here is a little larger and just to be sure that I don't catch the, the garnish, I'm going to pull that out right there. And you can tell this is a little bit different screw than the rest of them. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is get a plastic spatula, some kind of pry tool, whatever. Don't use metal because you don't want to damage your paint. Um, what you're gonna do is just pry around here and pop this loose. Now don't forget, you got weather stripping around here. Um, make sure you've got all your screws out before you start doing this. You'll get really frustrated if you haven't, <laughs> haven't unscrewed the garnish, okay? But uh, basically what I like to do is go along the top a little bit, just pull. Now the way this is, it kinda, kinda snaps in there. There's a little channel inside and if you if you pop the top off first, basically it kind of it will kind of lift off for us here. But you definitely want to use plastic to pry with. There we go. All right, now that we've got all of our screws removed, we've got our garnish off, of course, our door handle, window crank, um, armrest, any kind of screws that we can see. Now, if, if you're working on something that is more original, um, I made these door panels myself, you may have some screws at the bottom corners. Um, bear, but just, just bear that in mind. But uh, if you have any stainless in a, in a sedan, that stainless is really hooked to your door panel. Um, not so much to your um, door itself. The stainless trim just attaches to with clips. I actually just tabs that bend over. So, all right, I've got a little, uh, again, of the plastic pry bar tool. I'm gonna pry and get these clips um, released from the door itself. Basically, what we wanna do is just take our time and um, if you can use something that has a slot in it, it may be a little bit better to get um, there where the clip is at, but use something plastic so you don't damage paint again. But um, your clips are gonna be all around the edge, not right here up top, but all around the, the edge itself. So just kind of start up here. Let me get the camera to show you the kind of clips I'm talking about. see these clips right here Ford used them for a long time and that's what pops into these into these holes so we'll just go all the way around 
One thing real quick I forgot to mention, and it just came to mind as I'm pulling these clips off. Don't get crazy with it. There's actually tabs here on the bottom of this um, door panel that slide into slots along the bottom of the door panel here. So there's clips on both sides and then um, the tabs that kind of slide into slots down there. I'll show it to you when we get it off here. All right, once you get this off, you can see what we're looking at here. Um, just so you can just double check, all my clips are out. And then I'm just gonna pull this um, from the that long slotted uh, piece that's down there. This should just pull kind of right up here. Now I do have, it could be some stuff stuck to this because of the plastic, the screen. So you probably wanna remove that too from your clips. Um, make it easier to suck her out of here. Of course, that was stuff I I did. I replaced all that. So, all right. See if this will just there it goes. Pop up right here, and there we go. And you can see the slots down there in the bottom. All right. Next, we'll pull the uh, plastic vapor barrier off. All right, once you get this far, it's important to refer to the manual. I cannot stress enough how, <laughs> how important it is that you own a shop manual because it just goes through this entire procedure for how to get stuff done. Of course, YouTube is very helpful and handy, and I get all that. But at the same time, um, what basically the principle is of removing this with a sedan is that you're going to lower the glass all the way, okay, all the way down. And then what we're going to do... We're gonna go ahead and take um, this glass, the, the quarter glass, um, loosen everything else uh, up so we can tilt it. And when we, when we tilt it back, it'll allow us to release um, this glass from the door, because you understand you got a channel here and you got a channel there. This is a channel really that is more movable than this one, so. We're going to get that done now. All right, 55 Ford shop manual for a sedan on page 179. Um, Ford outlines a procedure for removing the door glass. So um, this is, I can't stress to you enough how handy this is. Some of the diagrams and stuff, you never blown apart the car, seeing how it, um, things are put together. Um, this kind of thing is extremely, extremely helpful. So um, if you don't have one, get one. All right, first thing we need to do is make sure all the screws are removed that holds the vent ventilator, the quarter glass here, vent window. But um, the top screw, there are two screws right here. And then there's also, for the channel, you can just follow the line here all the way down that bolt right there as well. So you need to remove those, make sure this gets loosened up. After that, we'll take the window all the way down and then we'll remove the two rollers so we can tilt this back and bring it up. The two screws that um, sit right here, right, right below the pivot, they're kind of special screws. They're not gonna get anywhere else. So make sure you hang on to those, know where they're at. All right, when you take out the lower bolt, there's a weld nut, uh, just a hidden nut back in there that um, helps you retain that bolt to the assembly. All right, we're gonna take our clip out of here and um, use this and just crank the window down. All right, once you get the window cranked all the way down, you can pull this off so it don't fall off. Um, what we wanna do is reach up under here and uh, disconnect the two rollers. So let me see if I can get some video footage of that um, or not. Um, could be hard to do. These rollers can be a little pesky. Um, I encourage you to use um, a pick, like a dental pick, something like that. A pick used to get out seals and all that kind of thing, something pretty small, because there's a clip for each roller assembly you're gonna have to remove uh, to get that roller assembly loose, all the, the parts of that roller assembly loose enough to where 
you can pop the pin um, that's actually the two pins that are part of your uh, scissor mechanism to make the window go up and down. Okay, we're looking down um, from the door glass run here and you see left and right, there are two rollers. It's kind of middle of your screen there, of course. And um, that is what we're talking about disassembling. There are clips uh, that retain the roller so this is the kind of clip that sits in there with the roller. Um, just remove this one over here. So um, it can be kind of pesky, but if you use a little uh, dental pick, something of that nature, then come out. So this is one of the rollers out. Um, you want to make sure you get the right orientation on this because that beveled washer and then the, the end there, they need to be the ones that that channel rides in. I guess creates the channel for that um, frame. And then the clip is always behind the washer here. So we won't put these back in, uh, we kind of keep it separate. We won't put these back in until uh, we get the glass back from the shop. Um, and then we can actually uh, put these right in. The stuff just, a pin, that stud would just pop right into there. All right, one thing I'm trying to note here is cause and effect as to why, um, why I had that break in the glass. And when I disconnected this, you can see that that stud on the front end just popped back. So that tells me that there's pressure right there, which would indicate I need to bring on my um, lower bracket here for the quarter glass run, I, I need to bring that in. Um, this side here didn't look as bad, but uh, all the same, trying to figure this out didn't make much sense to me. Okay, so back to our instructions here. Um, lower the door glass, disconnect the regulator arms from the rollers, we've done that. Lift the glass to the closed position, remove the window stop, and tilt the ventilator assembly as shown in figure 18, which is right here, and Let's see here. Looking for something that shows me what the window stop is. Almost positive it's that it's that small L-shaped bracket at the bottom. This doesn't show me here. This is on the regulator system. But um, anyway, we'll get to it. I got the glass all the way back up and the window stop is this L-shaped bracket that's behind here. These two uh, bolts hold that on there. So we're gonna remove that next. Window stop, rubber at the bottom to keep the window from smacking something hard. Put these two bolts back in there for safekeeping. All right, so in theory, what's gonna happen right now? Um, since we removed the window stop, we're able to tilt this 90 degrees. We're gonna drop this down. We've gotta get the glass out of this channel, um, technically speaking. What can happen, there's room here. This is gonna pop out and then um, we can tilt it. So let me move the camera. All right, so now I've got the glass loose from this channel and I've got a hand on it here. I think it'll rest. Okay, let me show the camera. Basically just pop this down, tilt it in. Um, watch your little glass window channel run up here so you don't damage it. But you can see that we're out of the, um, get a light for you. 
can see that the glass is out of the channel here. So what we should be able to do is just spin it. I may have to bump this back a little bit, but um, we'll try to pull this glass out of here next. Now, I know I didn't fast forward that left out at real time, but um, just to show you, it can be done. This will help give you any indication as to angle or um, how to get this out of here without damaging anything. Uh, maybe it will help you. But um, anyway, time to take this glass to the shop and... Uh, what we'll do is take a picture to make sure that the that uh, channel run on the bottom is oriented correctly here. All right, I'm going to assume where this cracked at at the beginning um, has a lot to do with that adjustment on that bottom, um, the quarter glass, the division run. So uh, we'll have to take a look at that pretty seriously when we install the new glass. Make sure we don't crack it.